Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about enzyme specificity and the types of enzyme specificity. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. The ability of an enzyme to discriminate between the two competing substrates is called as the specificity. Enzymes are uh, highly specific in the reaction they catalyze and the substrate they act upon. The reactions are highly specific. Not only the reaction uh, they catalyze but also the uh, substrate which they act upon. It's also very specific. Let's see the types of uh, enzyme specificity. Enzyme specificity can be categorized into three types. They are substrate specificity, reaction specificity and stereo specificity. Now let's see the classification of each of these. So enzyme specificity can be class uh, categorized into three types that is the substrate specificity, reaction specificity and the stereo specificity. The substrate specificity uh, can be again categorized into three different types. That is the absolute substrate specificity, relative substrate specificity and the broad substrate specificity. And in relative substrate specificity, it can be further classified into group specificity and bond specificity. So in the uh, next slides, we will discuss each of, each of these in detail. So we have seen in the earlier slide that uh, there are three types of uh, substrate specificity. They are the absolute substrate specificity, relative substrate specificity and broad substrate specificity. In absolute substrate specificity, the enzyme will act only on one substrate and catalyze only one reaction. That is called as the absolute substrate specificity. The examples uh, for this include glucokinase, lactase and urease. So the glucokinase uh, will act on the glucose to uh, convert that into glucose 6-phosphate. The lactase which act upon uh, lactose and this will get converted into glucose and galactose. And urease will act on urea and this will get converted to ammonia and carbon dioxide. Let's see uh, relative substrate specificity. In the relative uh, substrate specificity, uh, the enzyme acts on more than one substrate. Unlike the absolute uh, substrate specificity, uh, there only one substrate uh, will be acted upon. But in this case, more than one substrate, the enzyme will act on more than one substrate. So uh, this is again classified into group specificity and bond specificity. The broad substrate specificity. In broad uh, substrate specificity, enzyme act on more than one structurally related substrates. So the examples include uh, uh, the hexokinase that catalyzes the phosphorylation of uh, more than one kind of hexose. Uh, this includes glucose, fructose and mannose. Let's see the classification of relate sub uh, relative uh, substrate specificity. As mentioned earlier, there are two different types, group specificity and bond specificity. In group specificity, an enzyme act on more than one substrate containing a particular group. That is called as the group specificity. Whereas uh, in bond specificity, the enzyme acts on more than one substrate containing a particular kind of bond. The example uh, for uh, group specificity is the chymotrypsin, uh, which act on several proteins by hydrolyzing the peptide bonds attached to the aromatic amino acid and the trypsin uh, that hydrolyzes the peptide linkages involving the arginine or lysine. The example uh, for bond specificity is uh, salivary alpha amylase which cleaves the glycosidic bonds of carbohydrates whereas lipase hydrolyzes the ester bonds of lipids. Let's see uh, what is reaction specificity. In this case, uh, the enzyme is specific to a particular reaction but not to substrate and catalyzes only one type of reaction. So this is called as the reaction specificity. In this example, you can see the pyruvate which can undergo several reactions and the, each reaction is catalyzed by separate enzymes which catalyze only that particular reaction. This is called as the reaction specificity. Let's see what is uh, stereo specificity. Uh, many enzymes show specificity towards the stereoisomers. They act on only one type of isomer. Such kind of uh, specificity reaction is called as a stereo specificity. Uh, there are different examples. L-lactase dehydrogenase which will act only on L-lactic acid but uh, not on the D-lactic acid. 
L amino acid oxidase and uh, D amino acid oxidase are distinct enzymes which act only on L and D amino acid respectively, but not the other way. D glucose oxidase can uh, similarly act on only on uh, D glucose, but not on the L glucose. Another example is the salivary alpha amylase, which act on uh, alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage, and which is inactive on beta 1,4 uh, glycosidic linkage. So such kind of uh, specificity is called as the stereospecificity. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.